Hello folks, Ron Grovis from Ron's Beers and Tools. Got a beer to showcase today. As you can see in front of you, National Bohemian Beer. This uh, history on this is pretty well intertwined. Uh, I received this beer here and a few others from a beer reviewer, fellow beer reviewer, Backwoods Billy Reviews, down there in Delmar, Maryland. And this is one of them. And, uh, I'm going to review it today. We'll see what this beer is like. Uh, I've never had it before. Interesting can. As you can see, the colors. Of, I can't remember having uh, any kind of a beer or ale in a, a can that's purple. Purple and gold. And I guess some of these are the colors of the Baltimore Ravens uh, football team. Uh, fresh brew in 1885. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get some more information on this. Basically, this was initially with the G. L. Heilman Brewing Company. It was initially its own company, but then G. Heilman Brewing Company from uh, La Crosse, I think it was Wisconsin, which was founded in 1858, founded by uh, Gottlieb Heilman and John Gund. Uh, but he's got a big history on him, a part of Baden, Germany came from, which was part of the country one time, but anyway, we'll stick with the beer. <laughs> this beer is a 4.28 ABV, and uh, this was sold out from Heinemann's to Stroh's in 1996, but when it was under the um, Heilman G. Heilman Brewery, they had a, quite a portfolio under them. They had uh, Collins Black Label, they had Blatz, they had Blitz, Wine Hot, they had Drury's, they had Fall City, they had Grain Belt, Gluick, they had a Gluick Brewing, a National Bohemia, this one here, Olympia, they had Rainier Brewing, Christian Schmidt Brewing Company, Jacob Schmidt Brewing Company, and Wiedemann. I don't know if you just remember Wiedemann. Wiedemann beer, I've had that way back in the... It used to be in a can that was very similar to Paps Blue Ribbon can, I mean, a correction, Budweiser can. The Wiedemann was very similar to the Budweiser can. Very similar. I remember I've had that beer a few times. Okay, we'll stay with, stay with the beer here. We're going to say about the National Bohemian. This is a, a premium Bohemian style beer. Bohemian style beer, which is a, a, a region. And uh, it's been known as Natty Bow. <laughs> I think that guy there is, is, is called the Natty Bow. Uh, but it was first brewed, like I said, in 1885 by the National Brewing Company in Baltimore, Maryland. And then after Prohibition, National Bohemian returned with the introduction of Mr. Bow, which is the guy that you're seeing. Uh, the one-eyed mascot with a handlebar mustache. <laughs> one-eyed. Well, that is quite the character. And a distinctive smile on him. And uh, I guess he, he's been adorning their cans uh, for quite a bit. There's different cans, uh, styles they have. There's usually their band of his National Bohemian being red with white lettering. But uh, it was uh, this whole the guy here was very quickly adopted as an endearing symbol of the proud city of Miss of uh, Mr. Bow continues to be the I guess the city of Baltimore, but I'm not bothered on that. Uh, but appears in a lot of the cans and bottles and packages and merchandise, what you see of of Mr. Bow. Uh, now the, the company is uh, now owned by Paps Blue Ribbon, but uh, it's quite a history of this this Natty Bow. Uh, what changed hands, the different breweries, and uh, and so forth. And uh, anyways, right now it's part of uh, of Paps Blue Ribbon, part of Paps Blue Ribbon, and uh, they've got quite a portfolio. Paps Blue Ribbon does themselves. Uh, I uh, that said, let's see what this beer looks like. Like I said, this was a a meal gift. They got to get us a glass. Okay, we got us a glass here. All right. You got the glass. One of the glasses for my loving son and his sweetheart. The one that says trust the pig. All right, end up with this one. All right, we get this cleaned off. Okay, let's see what we get for water vapors if we do. A bit. All right, let's see what this looks like. I've never had this before. It's actually the first time I've seen it. We came in the mail package from Bill. A 
Well, let's look at the, the can before we... Mm, I can smell it from here. Getting the malt aroma. Well, here's the can. Definitely these are the colors of the Baltimore Ravens. National Bohemian Beer. There he is, Mr. Bo. So some words about the coming down on this one. It says G. Heilman. As far as the brewery, maybe it's a, a, a subordinate of the um, major company, Pabst Blue Ribbon. It's, uh, all right. Well, let's see. Let's look at the beer. Not much carbonation. Nice white head, though. It's got a pretty big, nice head for not much carbonation. Looking starting to get creamy around the edges. Looks good. Looks like a good beer. Well, uh, excited to try it. I've never had this. I mean, it, it, it's really a clear. I mean, when this poured, you can see that is a clear beer. Golden in color. Had that white head on it. All right, let's uh, see what the aroma's like. Uh, kind of like toasted cracker. Toasted cracker aroma. I thought I'd be getting a lot of uh, malt sweetness out of this. It's very mild. If, if any sweetness. Corn, maybe. Uh, not much... Really, aromas come out at it. Heads dissipating. There's really no uh, hoppiness for, for at all. And I don't know if I'm picking up on any hops or any kind of uh, fruitness from the yeast. Some sweetness, a toasted cracker aroma. Very light sweetness. And maybe a corn, that sweet from the corn. All right. No further ado, salute. It's a crisp beer. Definitely in the mouthfeel, it's crisp. Biscuity taste. Excuse my slurping from slurping. Not much bitterness to it, so the hops got to be low on this beer. They say old Bohemian styles. So I don't know what kind of hops or malt are in this. Then they give us information on the due diligence that I did do. Flavor doesn't jump out like, like some of the macro brews or a lot of the other beers I've had. Like I said, it's very low on the aromas. They don't jump out. Low on the aromas. Mouthfeel is good. How clear that is. How clear that, that beer is. Well, it's nice to try this. Uh, I will sit here and drink it and have some of these to go with it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, thank you, Bill, for sending this. Uh, I, uh, I think I've heard of National Brewing Company, but I've never seen this on the market. And I'm glad that you sent it. Uh, nice to have. It's very uh, good-looking can, and I thank you for sending it in the beer mail with the others. So, Fred, salute. Enjoy the day. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. Do not drive. Uh, I want to thank all you military veterans for what you've done. I don't know about where is it, other parts of the country, especially down in Maryland where you are, Bill. But it's pretty cold here today. It's in the 20s, going down to 11 degrees tonight again. Staying cold. Snow isn't melting. So that's New England. That's the news. For weather forecast for today. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bill. 
for the beer. And there you go, folks. Salute. Ciao.